Welcome to the Cutis Site on the Block video tutorials. In this tutorial we will um, go through how to create new web pages. Log into your administrative side and as when you log in you see of course the, um, the basic control panel. We're going to um, actually go to the article manager which you can get to through going to the content and then article manager in the top menu. You'll be able to see a list of all the pages as we've discussed previously. Well, now you're going to hit the new button. This is going to take you to a blank article page. Article can also be known as your page content. Um, we're going to enter the title of our new page. And then we're also going to select the section. We have it makes us choose a section. Now on the basic forms we don't really have any sections with the basic functionality so we're going to just choose the uncategorized, make sure it's set as published, and then front page would be if it shows it on the front page or not so we're going to set that to no because we just want a basic page. We're going to enter our content, um, whether it be paragraphs, pictures, whatever you would like. You can format the text uh, however you'd like. So here we're going to center it and make it bold. And once we have all our text and every images and everything inserted, we're going to go up and hit save. And now you see the article manager will show your list of pages. And you see that the page we just created was here. It should be shown as published. And if you don't want it shown on the home page, that should have a red X through it. Now we need to connect it to a menu. So we go up to menus, choose the menu you want. We're going to choose the side main menu. And then we're going to go to new because we're going to create a new menu item now that we have our page created. We just need to link it. So it's an article in the article manager. So we're going to click articles. And then we're going to go down and click an article layout because we just want a single article layout, the one that we just created. You have a spot here now to enter the title, so we're going to go ahead and enter the title. You can leave alias blank. You can then choose also um, if you want it to drop down under an item. But we're going to go over to the right and select our article now. Once we select the article, we just go and hit save or apply, either one. And we're going to go to our front end here, refresh, and look at the side menu where we just created that, and it's automatically in there. So the process is create your article and then link it to a menu. When we click on a link, you now see the page that we created. Now here you can put it, you know, you can do it as a drop down under one of the other items. So if you see now I chose it to be under the home item. So instead it is it being aligned to the left with everything. Now you see that when you're in the home page is the only time you see that menu because that's what it's linked with. And when you're with the shopping because you're not on the home. So that's how you can make it make certain menu items have a parent menu. So we'll go back and change it to where it's just under the, um, just a regular menu item. You can, here you can change the order of your menu items. You can do it by using the arrows or by just entering in the numerical value and then clicking that little disc right up there, um, right at the top of the column. And here I'm just showing you the different, different ways, just showing you how it works with the I'm changing the orders of these menu items. We resaved it and you see the new order and now when we fresh again the orders corrected the way that we saved it. And here's our new new page that we just created. It's that simple. And that concludes our video tutorial on creating new pages in your new website.